Uh, hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cook Saw Manufacturing. We've been talking about and doing a little series on how to prolong uh, blade life, how to make your blade life on your bandsaw mills uh, longer and last longer. And we've talked about several things. Uh, you can look up there on YouTube and see what all they are. But I, I want to talk about blade speed, maybe in, in two directions, how fast we're turning the blade, number one, and then how fast you saw. I'll give these in generalities. We also have a, and we'll put a link up where, where I do uh, maybe a little bit longer and talk a little more specifically about uh, uh, blade speed. But um, you may hear some things in the background too. We're out kind of in the country and we have a lot of things going on. We got a busy, busy business. And so you may hear some backgrounds and we can't seem to get away from all of them. Uh, but I think it'll be clear enough. On, on blade speed, we're talking about feet per minute. Uh, how how many times, how many feet this blade goes through uh, the cut every minute. Uh, we've, we've had different ideas through the years and for probably over 10 years now, we have known that there is a point that you can go too fast with a band blade uh, in feet per minute. Now, we, we break down rounds per minute, that comes from your band wheel, but, but we're talking about how many feet per minute, uh, 12 inches, and how fast the wheel is, or the blade is turning, we, we break it down into feet per minute because each band wheel is a different size. Uh, horsepower has part to do with this, but if you're feeding too fast, if you're turning the wheel too fast, all of those things affect uh, the life of the blade. And I'm on the, the generality is uh, from from something we learned a long time ago is we we want to stay about 5,500 feet per minute. Uh, on, a, on a machine that has enough horsepower. See, the thought was originally, the faster we could turn that blade, the faster we could saw. But there are problems that come in into play with that. And we found that once we broke over 6,000, 6,500, we made a machine that ran 6,500 feet per minute one time, and we thought, well, I don't really get it. Well, the guy had weaving and diving and dipping problems. And uh, uh, the reason is, uh, you're not getting as big of a tooth bite uh, with every tooth that goes through. Every tooth on this blade is there for a purpose and it's pulling a little bit of chip out. And it makes the dust too fine, which causes heat to build up on the blade. Uh, I've, heard of I've heard of machines running seven and 8,000 feet per minute. And what happens is the faster you turn that, the more vibrations. We've talked about vibrations from the roller guides or band wheels or belted wheels. Even the engine itself is giving you vibrations. The faster you turn all this stuff, the more vibrations you get and the more problems you cause to the blade. It also causes uh, the sawdust to become uh, much finer, like a flower. Uh, whereas we like a more of a grit. The old, the old uh, uh, circle mills, you know, they would get probably not quite a quarter of an inch, but I'd almost say a quarter of an inch chunk of the sawdust every time. We're getting very fine sawdust. The faster you turn that, uh, if you don't saw faster in the cut, and a lot of time you can't saw faster in the cut, you're just getting a less penetration per tooth and a smaller bite. If, if you're turning this thing at the proper speeds, eight to twelve thousandths uh, per tooth is all you're getting. And that's just a little bitty flake anyway. If you slow down to say, well, I'm just sawing too, I'm just going to slow, uh, saw slower, you're going to get less sawdust out but you're also going to get a, smooth, a, a smaller flake every time, a smaller piece. And all of that affects how the sawdust, we're trying to pull it out with the gullet and that'll let it, it spill over the sides of the blade. And uh, those things cause heat. So, so really the number that, that we're looking for, if I don't have much horsepower, I would go down to 3,500 feet per minute. If I have a small mill with small horsepower. If I have more horsepower, our MP32s we set up to run around 4,500 feet per minute because of the horsepower and the size of the wheels, those kind of things. On the AC36, we're running about 5,500, 5,000, 5,500 feet per minute. We don't want to go a lot above that. It just doesn't work out. There's a point of diminishing return in there where that speed of the blade uh, also gives us uh, other, it, it just makes other troubles with those harmonic vibrations and, and literal movements that you're getting from whatever uh, might be a little bit out uh, on the roller, roller guides or the band wheel or whatever might be there. Some people, that's why we do the metal wheels so we can get them perfectly in round 
versus those belted wheels. We've talked about that. But, but those are the numbers. A small horsepower, 3,3500 feet per minute. Uh, Mid-range, uh, 25 to 35 horsepower, 4,000 to 4,500 feet per minute. And then if you go on up above that, to the 50 horsepowers and up, then you can run on to 5,500 or so. But we find that much above that is just, is just a hard to make it all work out. Now those are some things I want to share with you. Also, one, one other thing is the speed forward. Uh, we like to see, if you're cutting good and everything's adjusted right, 40 feet per minute. Sometimes you can do more than that. If you're in a resaw application, we've even managed to get 100 feet per minute. So those are some things, but you, 20 feet per minute is just too slow. You've got other problems and you need to be able to adjust it out and saw on through at 30 to 40 feet per minute forward in the cut. Uh, and and the this, this speed of the band blade going through uh, helps that. Uh, when we're when we're sawing at, at 5,500 feet per minute, roughly, that blade is making six rounds per second. I bring that out in that other video, but six rounds per second, faster than you can blink your eye. It's almost unbelievable how fast it's happening. Uh, but but all that comes into play and, and affects all of this. So um, the numbers I've given you should be helpful, interesting at least. Uh, I'll throw one more thing in there. On metal cutting blades, you're cutting something super hard uh, with, with different tooth spacing, of course, but a metal cutting blade is only running uh, two, three hundred feet per minute, maybe even four hundred feet per minute. But just to, to give you some, some ideas from a different side of it, a different industry even, uh, there are reasons why you turn things different speeds. And that's just what we have learned. Uh, helps with blade life, helps with cutting good boards and cuts down on the frustration when you're out here in the hot sun, uh, you know, in August. You want everything to flow as smoothly as you can, and that is something that will help you out.